The Eternal Goodness by John Greenleaf Whittier. O oh, friends, with whom my feet have trod, the quiet aisles of prayer, glad witness to your zeal for God and love of man I bear. I trace your lines of argument, your logic linked and strong. I weigh as one who dreads dissent and fears a doubt as wrong. But still, my human hands are weak to hold your iron creeds against the words ye bid me speak. My heart within me pleads. Who fathoms the eternal thought? Who talks of scheme and plan? The Lord is God. He needeth not the poor device of man. I walk with bare, hushed feet the ground. Ye tread with boldness shod. I dare not fix with meat and bound the love and power of God. Ye praise his justice, even such. His pitying love I deem. Ye seek a king, I fain would touch the robe that hath no seam. Ye see the curse which overbroods a world of pain and loss. I hear our Lord's beatitudes and prayer upon the cross. More than your schoolmen teach within myself, alas, I know too dark ye cannot paint the sin, too small the merit show. I bow my forehead to the dust, I veil mine eyes for shame, and urge in trembling self-distrust a prayer without a claim. I see the wrong that round me lies, I feel the guilt within, I hear with groan and travail cries, the world confess its sin. Yet in the maddening maze of things, and tossed by storm and flood, to one fixed trust my spirit clings, I know that God is good, not mine to look with cherubim and seraphs may not see, but nothing can be good in him which evil is in me. The wrong that pains my soul below, I dare not throne above. I know not of his hate. I know his goodness and his love. I dimly guess from blessings known a greater out of sight. And with the chastened palmist own, his judgments too are right. I long for household voices gone, for vanished smiles I long. But God hath left my dear ones on, and he can do no wrong. I know not what the future hath of marvel or surprise, assured alone that life and death his mercy underlies. And if my heart and flesh are weak to bear an untried pain, the bruised reed he will not break, but strengthen and sustain. No offering of my own I have, nor works my faith to prove. I can but give the gifts he gave and plead his love for love. And so beside the silent sea, I wait the muffled oar. No harm from him can come to me on ocean or on shore. I know not where his islands lift, their fronded palms in air. I only know I cannot drift beyond his love and care. O oh, brothers, if my faith is vain, if hopes like these betray, pray for me that my feet may gain the sure and safer way. And thou, O Lord, by whom are seen thy creatures as they be, forgive me if too close I lean my human heart to thee.